I made it through the week again, thanking G.O.D. again. Can't believe I made it, I feel amazing and free again. Feel that weekend creeping in, I can hardly keep it in. Happy for tomorrow, tomorrow I'm gonna be sleeping in. I made it through the week again, thanking G.O.D. What's up, y'all? Today is August 1st, all right? So we're gonna jump into all what August has to offer. But first, this video is sponsored by Rose Forever New York. My candle is still burning, baby, okay? Still burning. Um, I did accidentally walk and one of the waxes went out. So now I have to like revive the other one. Okay. But it's balancing out. All right. So please order, uh, a candle from Rose Forever New York. I did reach out to them because some of my followers was like, what if I just want to give you some roses? I'm like, okay, hold on. Let me, let me see if the company can do something for that. <laughs> okay. You know, cause I do love me some roses. Okay. So if anybody wants to send me some roses, I have reached out to them to see, if they can give me a special link so I can receive those roses, baby. All right. And this is the beautiful bouquet I was given this time around. I don't want to light my roses on fire. Okay. Um, I like to educate you guys about the product as well. Okay. So a lot of people may not know this, but most of the roses are scented. Okay. So they do have a beautiful little scent or fragrance to them as well. All right. Can you take the roses out of the boxes? Absolutely motherfucking not, okay? The boxes stay, the roses stay in this beautiful box, all right? And you just place this on your bed. You place it on your uh, foyer, in your foyer. Maybe if you have a table in your foyer or something like that, okay? But I always like to drop some kind of knowledge, okay? So you can't take them out of the box and they definitely are scented, okay? So you can, you know, get a little fragrance from them a little aroma and the candle is basically damn near amazing okay it, the scent is very strong um so just know that okay also um these roses definitely last more than a year so if you're worried like oh okay i'm gonna have them for a year but they're not gonna be no i didn't have this but y'all gonna see you gonna see you gonna see all right okay scorpios let's let's see what's going on in this month all right so it's August 1st and on the first day of August, okay, or literally on the first day of any month, but definitely this month because we got the Lion's Gate portal. And if you don't know nothing about the Lion Gates portal, you you know, you, you better learn something today, okay? So you want to get some cinnamon, not this. These are cinnamon sticks. You want to get the cinnamon dust and you want to put that in your hand and then you want to blow that cinnamon into the doorway entry of your home. So blow the cinnamon into your home and say, you know, I speak prosperity and abundance throughout my home you want to do that today that's why i'm letting your ass know today okay i'm letting you know today what you need to do today okay um also august energy just a little update so y'all know what's going out going on throughout august your soul will be calling you back home okay so a lot of you guys like bitch i'm at the house right now ashley okay and i feel you but there is um uh, a light up of deepest desires of your heart so some of you guys man like i always wanted to write a book man like i always want you could be feeling very uh energy to do that but you like nigga, i ain't got no money though right now you know money kind of funny and you got to chill with that okay because money is only funny because of you you know and i know y'all like hell nah because i want to be that if you want to be that you have to think that and hold that thought in a consistent basis even when you don't have it so this nudge of intuition is aligning you with your desire, your purpose, and assisting you on your evolution to your soul. What we choose to focus our attention and energy on will amplify this month. So if you over here jocking this nigga, jocking this female, you know what I'm saying? You're going to manifest that person. I've been bumping to this person every almost day, and it's because this girl talking about me, thinking about me, and this person that has this person thinking about me need to tell this motherfucker the truth i didn't do shit with that motherfucker okay i'm actually disguising that bitch for another bitch okay so you know you got to be very careful you have to ask people you know you can't be fearful but like hey can i talk to you for a minute people do need to pull you to the side and talk to you and if you're a grown-ass woman you're a grown-ass man you could do that but if you immature and you childish you can't do that okay um it says we are being asked to step even deeper into our imagination okay so a lot of you guys are like man i don't even know how i'm gonna make that shape but this is the month of august that's saying it doesn't matter the facts don't matter okay what matters is you holding a certain vibrational frequency and no matter what appears in front of you you don't waver okay that's how how magic happens now we must visualize and feel 
uh, this frequency surrounding your dreams and then follow up with the alignment actions and steps that they're telling you to do that this is the only way this thing gonna manifest in front of you okay so be intentional when you create in the month of august all right well i will be doing august updates in the beginning of every motherfucking video but let's begin shall we all right what up y'all all right what's up um i'm not gonna lie rose forever really changed a lot of my frequency this month you know i was feeling really sad and just a little down you know what i'm saying because my companies are taking changes we're rebranding refacing redoing a lot and i just feel like them coming with this energy you know them just being like hey yeah you know we want you to do this you could do this just made me feel special okay so guys, these little things that come through to give you that gusto, that energy, that, that determination again, be grateful for them people, okay? All right, so first card out, somebody want to be with you, baby, okay? We got beyond, okay? So somebody want to be with you. They feel like you an angel, okay? But this really is just like love, and it's innocent. It's pure. I got to turn the heater on, man. You know, I be having my house at zero at night, and then in the morning, I'm like, whew, I can't get out of this blanket, okay? So, um we got beyond here so somebody loves you unconditionally they see you as like the princess the king the queen the prince that you really are okay somebody just want to be in their own little bubble with you too because they feel like it's safe there okay somebody feel uh safe wrapped up in your arms okay now whoever this is they could have a key to your house or they could always have a lighter on them all right this person also could have played the drums or been involved in a band in high school okay uh this person could be a cold ass spade player or a cold ass uno player or somebody you know do something with cards or this could be blackjack or this could be the casino as well somebody recently had coconut water they didn't like it but they tried it again and it was good somebody always have a lighter on them somebody recently had a polo Somebody could have had a really heart-to-heart -heart conversation with their mom. Real talk, okay? For some of you guys, this is a mom and son relationship. And it's it's really nice, okay? Um, this son or this mom could be introducing new spices, new herbs, new things to cook with. Um, to uh, give this person a different appetite. But this also could just mean you meeting a different woman. And this woman is cooking like different kinds of food and different kinds of things with different kinds of seasoning and you like that shit you know you like okay like bring your culture to me baby let me know teach me okay yeah all right now whoever this is they create they could create in the kitchen but they also could create in their own home or in their own domain they make their own food or they make their own lifestyle okay um or this could be you you could be a nigga who know how to whip it up in the kitchen okay i like a nigga who could cook you know what i'm saying but whoever this is they want to cover you beyond this lifetime that's some deep ass shit some men be like that they be like i want to cover you from here infinity and beyond okay who watched toy story in this motherfucker okay it's a whole lot of toys in this motherfucker somebody can have a kid and that kid's room is dirty as fuck. Y'all need to clean up these kids' room now. You can't be just having your kid room fucked up. You can't walk in there just because they don't go in there. You got to clean your kid's room. Whoever this is, your kid probably don't even go in that damn room, but you got to organize it, okay? We also have Beyond. So somebody has a real quality relationship. It's a firm foundation. It's strong. Whoever this man is, they really take care of their physique, okay? They really take care of their hair. Their hair be looking nice. Their edge up be looking nice. All right. Um, somebody could be cooking. All right. Home is where the heart is. So whoever this is, you could have fell in love with this girl because she cooked you a meal and you were like, oh, I got to stay with them, motherfucker. <laughs> Did she about to be my old lady? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know where this old lady thing come from. I'm telling you, my parents do not speak like this. Okay. So, damn, we got family. So, whoever this is, they created a family. Whoever they're with, they can cook very well. They come from a firm foundation, okay? But family here, even though everything on the outside seems and perceives to be very well, um, this person or one of these people, this could be a girl or this could be a dude, they constantly find problems in their motherfucking relationship. Don't you hate bitches like this? Bitches like this, they be having everything they need to see to be successful and thriving but they still look outside of their perfect environment and say well i don't got this and i'm not doing this and she got this it's like damn bitch you can't be thankful for what you got this could be a nigga too okay okay 
All right, we got peace. Yeah. All right. So, you know, I don't know. I'm going to be real with you. You could be a friend outside looking in and you could have a lot of peace in your environment. Okay. And you could do this all on your own with peace here, family, beyond, and create. Okay. So, whoever this is that's by themselves, you could be a Caucasian woman. You could like wearing tube tops. Your hair could be blonde. Okay. You could have recently got a perm and it could have made your hair curly. And you like this curly look, you know. You also could have a cat. But you do something on your own and you do have friends that are in a relationship and they've been in these relationships for a very long time. But whoever this woman is, she's envious of you. She like, but but I bet you can't cook or I bet you can't do this. This girl wants you to not have all the characteristics and zoots of a woman of a wifey material. Maybe you don't want to be a fucking wife. Maybe you don't want to be a husband. Okay. But there is a friend outside of a marriage, okay? And whoever this is, their partner is envious of you. And they, they don't want you to be able to cook. They don't want you to be able to create. They don't want you to be able to have a good job better than you. Like, why the fuck is you worried about an outside friend? This is stupid. And whoever this is, they have a perfect family, but they look at everybody else's family and, and complain about how they family better than the one they got. All right, ain't no woman like the one I got. No one can treat you better, okay? Somebody need to listen to J. Cole, okay? There's no such thing as a life that's better than yours nigga you the key character okay whoever this is they need to be redirected like a motherfucker okay now the thing about this which you don't see coming collective is you about to be in a committed ass relationship with somebody who can cook and if this is a nigga he can cook his ass off and this person is not gonna look outside to other relationships to compare their self to yours because when they met you you was whole okay and not only was you whole baby you gave this nigga peace Okay, niggas be looking for peace because these niggas be crazy, all right? And let me talk to y'all about peace. I'm not talking to the men that are over here fucking other women. And then when the other woman finds out this bitch out on your phone, king your car, bitch, you not even giving peace. You be in chaos. So how these niggas going to ask you for peace when you over here spreading your dick to the community? You're not going to get peace like that, okay? This is something totally different. This is a man who sees this woman as peace. And this is a woman who sees this man as peace. But not only do they do that... They love language is very strong. They cook for each other. They nourish each other. They, they grow with each other, okay? And they don't look for validation from other people outside of their relationship. And it's because these people came together when they when they were um whole, okay? All right, we got gratitude here. So, yeah, somebody also here is uh, grateful for you, grateful for the relationship, grateful for the energy that you put into the relationship. So whoever this is, you could be solo, dolo, but your friends are very grateful for your energy that you come with. Yeah. And the reason why too is because somebody feels like you building a legacy, you know, and they want to be a part of that shit. Somebody know that you're going to be the bag. Somebody know that you building something where you're going to have like generations, what generational wealth I'm hearing. Okay. And somebody wants to be in that circle with you real talk. All right. Now you do have somebody here that doesn't follow their intuition. So you could have two creators or two content creators and they really do like um, compete with each other. In actuality, you don't compete with this person. You barely know how to do shit because I ain't lying. Whoever this girl is, she put a lipstick on. She got glasses on. Somebody could be feeling very like insecure about their body. Like whoever this is, they could change two and three times in the morning. Like, I don't want to wear this. I want to cover my arms. I don't like my stomach. You know, whoever this is. But whoever you are, you don't give a fuck what you got going on. You be wearing that shit. You don't give a fuck. You might even have a blunt in your mouth when you're doing that shit. Also, you you could like, you could be a DJ, okay? Um, Because this girl has... A, a table thing here that i didn't see you could also have a beats headphones you could love cats okay but that's nasty whoever this is your cat be going in your tub and shit that's not i don't know what that's about okay um what else is here oh you could have recently went to the beach or you could have recently have shells in your home or you got some shells also you could have re recently went to the store and bought streamer lights for the summer like maybe you want to decorate your room and you want these lights or you want to decorate your backyard and you want these lights okay but whoever you are you're very independent but you do have some love that's come damn what the fuck going on with my phone my phone keep going off okay <laughs> like damn cut it out okay um yeah Somebody doesn't follow their intuition and that's why they don't grow as fast. That's why they don't expand as much because some people, they have to have a lot of preparation to start something. Scorpio, if this is you, just do it, okay? Nike said it best. Just do that shit. It don't matter if you do 
things wrong or whatever. You're going to always do things. You know how many things I do wrong? Say words wrong. You know, all kinds of shit. And people be like, oh, that bitch said that wrong. Oh, that bitch spelled that wrong. Do you think that's going to stop me from doing this check? Do you think YouTube is going to be like, bitch, I'm about to cut your channel off because you said this word incorrectly? Hell no, nah, okay? Something that I do wrong today, once I recognize it, I can make better tomorrow, okay? But something that you don't do today, you can't do shit about it tomorrow because it still don't fucking exist. And that's some real nigga shit. All right, gratitude and rampage. So somebody is just not thankful what the fuck they got. They ain't thankful for the motherfuckers that they got in their life, okay? And that's what pushes them away from their legacy. That's what pushes them away from everything. And that's what disconnects them from their heart. Damn, we got blueprint in reverse. So somebody is destined for creation. This is somebody who definitely has miracles in their life, but they just can't fucking see it. This shit is rough, but they see the miracles in your life. They see everything happening in your life. They see everything going well for you, and they compare that and contrast. And let me tell you something about you, Scorpio. Shit could be fucked up in your life, real talk, but you ain't walking around like you motherfucking Charlie Brown. Who got time for that? Okay, you got to put your chin up. You got to pull your big pants up, and you got to go out there, and you got to make that shit shake, okay? Because the more energy that you spend worrying is, is not getting you anywhere. Anywhere. you always have to understand that if you don't know where you're going you need to know you need to have goals so that you can see the direction that you're taking in what does that mean it means it's a new month and i know scorpio season is right around the motherfucking corner so you're gonna see nine motherfucking videos pre-recorded you're gonna see nine motherfucking lives dropped every day because that scorpio check gonna be goddamn fat as fuck okay you know what i'm saying when a goal is set scorpios we handle that shit, okay? So, uh, you know what I'm saying? Whoever this is, let me let you know, during Scorpio season, you could be having somebody come towards you because they really see something true in you, all right? Um, yeah, and this is somebody that your first kiss with this person was a little weird or you and this person don't really like kissing, but they like kissing you and you like kissing them, all right? So, we got first kiss, all right? So, whoever this is, they not a big kisser, you not a big kisser, but they want to kiss you and when they kiss you, it's peace. Not only that, when they first kissed you, it opened up their motherfucking heart okay um this is somebody who gonna turn down many suitors to fuck with you but they had okay we got hurtful words so you could have said some hurtful shit to this motherfucker and they they ain't like that shit this shit fell on gratitude so whoever this is they may have no tattoos or whoever this is they may have a sleeve of tattoos or a leg of tattoos okay um or something like that okay because y'all are both drastic with gratitude in reverse so one person is tat tat tatted up and the other person is just bareback bitch you just you there's no tattoos on this motherfucker at all but whoever this is they said hurtful words to you okay which made this person want you to feel inferior like oh bitch i got holes in different area codes but this nigga didn't have no holes it wasn't no area codes at all okay i'm sorry <laughs> okay many suitors here in reverse but this person ain't had nobody they just had you and they loved you too okay they loved you too um somebody's feeling unrequited because when they compare themselves to, I don't know who the fuck this is. This is somebody who's comparing themselves to you and you don't like they do. You don't like they nigga. You don't like they female. You don't like you don't like nothing they got going on. But this person just feel like, well, why are you friends with them? Okay? It's a no. <laughs> I told you. You're not even interested in this person. You don't compare yourself to this family. You don't compare yourself to yourself to this relationship or anything. It's just unrequited. This is literally just your friend. But whoever they partner is, they don't see that. And you know, even if this person tried you, you told this person no. Do you see how no is here? You got somebody else that, you know, don't like kissing and you don't like kissing, but this person really like you and they really uh, made a lot to you or made it seem like they had a lot of suitors, but they didn't have no suitors at all, which is going to cause an argument between you and this person. Because it's like, who playing them kind of dumbass games? You got a new life coming to you or you just dropped this baby and now you got to adjust to this new life, okay? Your nipples could be hurting. You could be in the house a lot. You could be just feeling like, damn, I can't really do a lot now that I have this baby. But this is your new life and it will change, okay? First nine months, hard. First year, definitely sleep deprivation. But after you get past that, twos and threes, you can start dropping that person off at other people's houses and life's going to get, you know, back lifing, okay? Um, hands of time. Yeah, you thought when you had this baby that you was going to be with this nigga forever, this female forever, but you're not. But you are going to have a soul contract with this person. So be the best version of yourself and make the best of it, all right? Y'all might not be together forever, but you will have this baby. And yeah, this motherfucker didn't take you out on a date. They didn't do none of this shit. But maybe, you know, things will change, you know? Don't, don't make your first mistake your second mistake just see things differently and move in love the second time all right because this is somebody who didn't bring you back on a date after you get past this baby you will be open for love again for some of you guys there's no baby and you're about to be open for love right before cuffing season start you're gonna be booed up okay all right y'all gonna be open for love all right and this this situation is not gonna have 
a lot of issues but maybe this could be somebody that you dated earlier all right and there was a lot of arguments back then but it could have been because this person looked at you as somebody that they put on a pedestal all right and that's why it was a lot of bumping heads but now this person you know still looked at you as a person on a pedestal but maybe they got their coins up you know what i'm saying i'll see y'all later because love is here scorpio and it's here to stay and whoever this is you're gonna be with them for a minute real talk Scorpios is really private, but will sting if you get close. And they rule by planet Mars, they stay determined, then don't go. Don't make a Scorpio strike because they venom pack a punch. So you better come correct, cause like a shark, you can't get much. Scorpios get what they want, and what they want is what they get. They appreciate the ones they love, they ain't what the fake shit. They don't really like people switching up, and they can be kinda controlling, like, bitch. Shut the fuck up Scorpios are leaders and they always think ahead And they also open-minded so you gotta give them credit If you date in the Scorpio and they like you, they will make you happy They also like a meal so in the kitchen, no, you can't be like Scorpios are often trendy and they got the best drip And they do not disappoint, man, you just gotta tap in Tagging shit this video to a Scorpio you